giving back to kids is the things that, you know, is why we're here. Give them a chance to showcase their skills, give them a chance to be able to go to another level, give them a chance to their families and friends to see them, and give them a chance to practice the craft that they're looking to do. And Sean, since you've, uh, since, since your NBA days, what, what do you feel that kids today can learn from NBA players that are giving out today as far as their knowledge and, and, and further educating themselves in this sport of basketball? Well, you know, what me and uh, Tony have to offer, both be, both players being former uh, NBA players, is that, you know, we want to come out here and give the foundation, the discipline of what it takes to develop your work ethic, develop yourself as an individual, and just help develop as a young player. You know, with this AAU tournament, it's really big around the nation, but a lot of people are concerned with the wins and losses, and what we want to try to get back is the individual, like I said, of help developing, learning what it takes to have a work ethic, and we think that if we can instill a foundation, it can also help them excel, you know, exceed past basketball and help them develop into young men, and that's what we're here for, to, to help them plant that. What would you recommend to anyone, any child watching this to whether to make the decision to be a professional or to just do this for fun and keep the move? Sean can answer that by having a, by having a son you know, who's playing right now. Well, I mean, and that's a good point, but you know, for also me and Tony going back, we've always had the passion to play this sport. You know, we've always had the passion. It was never about a dollar sign. And I think kids need to get away from the sports center, get away from the glitz and glamour. Everybody wants the result, but don't want to put in the hard work. Well, we're here. The main thing Tony instills in this facility, in this tournament, is that you're going to come in here. Once you cross the line, is that you're going to work hard. Anything that you want to, you want in life, you got to work hard for, and it comes with putting on that work on on the hardwood floor and staying disciplined, like we said. And then good things happen in the end. You can't think about the pros, you know, until you start working on it. Basketball has gone global. That's what we try to tell people. It's not just an in the states thing. Now you have three times the amount of kids that are trying to excel and get to where you're trying to get. And there's only something like 400 players in the NBA, so we could all do the math. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You gotta work hard to get what you want. Man, that's great. That's, 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 that's the players in sports complex where the pros have a high level training for all ages. You see what we're doing here? We have a high level of atmosphere, families, kids, coaches, players, everything. We want to see you in players' hands, first class. Pro level training is Keith James, and this is Players' Edge. Welcome to Players' Edge. This is our training facility here in the beautiful city of Corona. What we have here is a facility that provides training for our youth, and uh, also we have uh, club teams that come out of here under the Mark for Champion. What we do is team up with various trainers and uh, basketball organizations and come together to provide opportunities for kids to play train them in the, uh, all aspects of basketball, as well as to help them get scholars, uh, college scholarships as well. Okay. At Players Head, the, the, what is the age bracket of kids that you train and what is necessary to be part of Players Here at Players Head, we're training kids from ages from nine, some even seven, depending on their skill level. But from seven years old to 18, we even have some pros, semi-pros come in, or overseas, college kids, and stuff like that. If you want to be a part of this, you just come down, you sign up, and we get you training. We got pro-level trainers that teach the kids all ages. We uh, recently are teaming up with uh, Tony Farmer and some various other former NBA players to help us and make sure our kids get the training and the skills development that they need to get to the next level. Most importantly is education. We stress the, the uh, importance of education and how it's a student athlete and not athlete student. And that's what's important for you to go to the next level. No matter how good you are in basketball, you can't get there if you don't have the grades. So we're doing everything we can to help you in all aspects of basketball with regards to your footwork, your defense, your shooting, your dribbling, as well as helping guide you and be a mentor to help you stay focused with regards to your academic portion of everything. So how do people get in touch with you if we uh, connect on our website and phone number to be part of the 
want to get in touch with us and come down and be a member of Players Edge and get involved in our full court basketball academy, you can reach us at 909-816-3590 uh, or on the website is www.playersedgesports.net. City High School. I started playing basketball in the uh, ninth grade, and I'm over here at the tournament at the Players Edge Sports Complex. Uh, I believe it was a great tournament. A lot of competitive teams here. Uh, the medical staff, the trainers were great, and I think that the Players Edge really gives a haven for you know kids to come out here, play ball, do what they love to do, and stay away from all the negatives that are out there. Medical clearance is very important for that. Knowing that a young man or young lady is adequately in good condition to be able to get involved in extracurricular sports, strenuous sports like basketball, certainly tournament basketball would qualify as strenuous activity. So, what kind of injuries do you see are more prevalent in youth of today when they come when they're playing basketball? Ankle injuries are very, very common. Uh, knee injuries as well. And a lot of that has to do with poor strength and poor stability. And what's important is the preparation, preparing your body in such a way so that you have the poor strength to help prevent injuries such as ankle sprains, knee sprains, and some of the other things relate more to timing and balance as with finger injuries, arm injuries, etc. And of course, body contact. The preparation is being, having the core strength and having the strength to be able to do the task on the basketball court. And sports medicine is involved in that because sometimes not everyone has the same level of strength or flexibility, so an injury may happen. Sports medicine comes in to try to correct a problem or to help to heal Hi, my name is Ree Brown. I'm an athletic trainer. Um, I played basketball overseas in Europe for the last three seasons. I was in Portugal, Romania, Finland, and Portugal again. Um, I think that being an athletic trainer and also being a professional athlete is important that we take care of our bodies, stretch, diet, uh, preventative methods to prevent injuries is really important. Stretching, um, tape, Um, I played basketball overseas in Europe for the last three seasons. I was in Portugal, Romania, Finland, and Portugal again. Um, I think that being an athletic trainer and also being a professional athlete is important that we take care of our bodies, stretch, diet, uh, preventative methods to prevent injuries is really important. Stretching, um, tape, exercise, in this particular sport? Well, I want to open up a facility for kids with obesity and special needs. I understand that not everyone physically is able to compete at different levels in basketball, at the highest level. So I want to tailor the game for kids with special needs. But also on the obese side, I want to kind of educate the public that you don't have to be skinny to be healthy, just be healthy. Be mind health-minded, uh, diet conscious, and uh, the, the main, my main, main focus is just to, to integrate those two and have sports available to everybody of every background, of every size, and every physical and, and mental illness. So what differences 